Welcome everyone to another day of daily prayer and I'm so glad that you could be with me again today. Oh, so go ahead and grab your Bibles if you will and turn over to Galatians 5. Amen. And while you're doing that, again, I just want to welcome you and thank you for joining me and thank you for standing for Jesus in a day and age where Jesus is just, you know, in it, it according to the world standards, Jesus is unpopular but you know what there is no other way of salvation but only through Christ and Christ has come to set us free from all chains from all bondages from mind things that consume your mind that consume your life that you know are not good for you Jesus has come to set you free free and that's what we're going to talk about today here so Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 it says stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage and we can we can you know stop there we can stop there but I just want to look at verse 6 it says for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but faith which works by love then he gives a little slight rebuke plus uh, slash encouragement you did run well who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? Oh, so he's posing a question here. So that's the question I have for you. I want first I want to encourage you to stand fast in the liberty that Christ has paid for us. Don't get caught up back into bondage where you have just been delivered if God has delivered you from something then do not go back into that bondage but you stand fast it stand and, and fast means firm with a with a grip I would venture to say a death grip onto Jesus Christ you have no other hope in this world but Jesus oh yes you have good you know you have good things you know some good stuff but all good gifts come from God okay and the only way to God is through Christ if you are a born again Christian then you have a direct line to God the Father hallelujah hallelujah and do not do not lose that that do not lose where where Christ has set you free don't lose what he's purchased back don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage and then it says here for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision or availeth anything or uncircumcision which is the the law you know whether you 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 were born in the law or not it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't really it doesn't benefit you but it's faith which works by love faith in what faith in what faith in Jesus which works by love faith in God and then he poses a question and I think this is just something to ponder you did run well who did hinder you okay if you have found yourself back wallowing in the same mess that Jesus has delivered you from then my brother and sister you I want to encourage you to pick yourself up and get back to Jesus get back on the altar get back to prayer get back to reading your Bible get back to having a fellowship with Jesus Christ come on you can run this race God is God has sent his son Jesus to deliver you and to bring you out hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah and if you're having a problem if you just I just can't do it then you know what then you want to cry out to God it says whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved I don't believe that just I, I believe I definitely that means salvation but I also mean it means salvation is being saved being saved out of things too as well that you've been um, been caught up again that's that's my own personal belief but any but so and then just you know join us here join with other like-minded believers believers who love Jesus believers who serve the Lord uh, join them in prayer ask a friend to pray with you and we're going to pray with you too and we're going to 
go ahead and pray right now. So I just want to encourage you, if you have fallen back down, then get back up again. You can, you can get back up again in Jesus, especially if you know the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Come on, come on, come on. Fix your mind on Jesus. Fix your heart on Jesus. He's the only one who can save you. God spent a lot. He he sent a lot. His only begotten son to save you. You were that important. Do you know that? So come on, let's pray. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you that you are in the midst of us, Lord. We thank you that you are here with us right now, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you hear our cry. We thank you, Lord, that you love us with an everlasting love. I thank you, Lord, that you love my friend, my brother and sister who's listening right now in Jesus' name. I thank you for your love that you have for him, for her. Father, I thank you. I ask you, Lord, that you would bring them out of the trap of the devil today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you would take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over in the name of Jesus in their lives today, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are the mighty one. You are the great one. You are the everlasting God. You are the God that's highly lifted up. Thank you, Lord. And your train fills the temple, Lord God. We praise and give glory and honor to you, Father God, in the name of your precious son, Jesus. Jesus, I thank you that you are our redeemer and you come to redeem us out of the prison that the enemy held us in. We were held captive, Jesus, but you came and delivered us and set us free by the shedding of your blood and the resurrection of back to life seated and you are now seated at the right hand of God and we give glory and honor and praise and worship and adoration hallelujah blessed be your wonderful name Jesus come on saints come on you can do it oh just open up your mouth and just praise him just open your mouth and praise him holy Spirit, we invite you here. Lord, there is no distance. Holy Spirit in prayer. I thank you, Lord, that you are touching those, Lord God, who are under the sound of my voice. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus that chains and bondages will be broken in the name of Jesus and that they w- you would deliver them today in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, I speak a new mind into them. I speak a new mind into them. I say let this mind be in thee which is in Christ Jesus you given them Lord not the spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ have your way Holy Spirit today in the name of Jesus we are gathered together Lord Jesus in your name and you are in the midst of us Jesus and we give all glory and honor to you Jesus Come on, saints. Come on. Come on and call on the Lord. Lord, I thank you. You said whosoever shall call upon your name shall be saved. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For your saving power today. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of bondage, the bondage that has held the people captive, be broken in the name of Jesus. I speak life right now and freedom in, in the name of Jesus I speak it over you I speak it I speak it to everyone under the sound of my voice Lord I thank you for your delivering power thank you Jesus that you've come to set us free and we have been free freed Lord we are free indeed Lord thank you Lord whom the Son sets free is free 
free indeed, Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Spirit of God. Thank you so much. Oh, Lord, I worship and glorify you. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for setting the captives free. Thank you for breaking strongholds. Thank you, Lord, for de delivering us, delivering us out, out of prisons and captivities, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence today. And we give you praise, Father, in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. All right, my friends. And if you're joining with us today and you do not know Jesus, then today is your day for a miracle. And you're going to receive Jesus Christ. And I want you just to pray after me if you want to receive this 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 wonderful savior the messiah jesus christ say dear god i come to you as a sinner and i want to be saved i believe that jesus christ is lord i ask you father to forgive me for all of my sins that i've ever committed I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, then you are now born again and the angels in heaven are rejoicing over you today. And now I want to pray over you. Father, I ask that you would fill each and every person who's just received Jesus. I ask that you would, Lord God, that you would fill them today with the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, with the evidence of speaking in tongues in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Saints. So now, listen, if you've just received Jesus, then the next thing you've got to do is you've got to find a church home. And I want you to begin attending, attending service. And I want you to go or fellowship of believers and those who love, uh, you know, the, the house of God where they can feed you and feed you the word of God. And you can fellowship with other believers. And then you want to be baptized again. Yes. In Jesus name. It is a wonderful experience. And you're life from this point will never never ever be the same you will never be the same all right my friend I'm so glad to, again that you joined me and I look forward to, to speaking with you again tomorrow and you have a wonderful day in the name of Jesus all right amen bye bye